first of all, very good evening, everyone. And uh, before starting the session, I would like to first of all thank you, uh, ICI, for taking the steps for AI, uh, because this is the right time uh, that uh, we have taken the steps. And uh, because of that, we all are learning. And uh, we need to learn AI. Otherwise, if we uh, don't learn, then other people, those who are learning, they will be taking ahead. And uh, I would like to uh, thank you, uh, Daya sir, Umesh sir, and uh, President and Vice President of AI, uh, sorry, ICI, for giving me the opportunity uh, to present you the uh, use case here. So by today's uh, use case is like in my previous presentations also, uh, I always say that uh, we can use the VBA code and whatever the day-to-day -day activities we all chartered accountants are doing, we can uh, automate these activities with the help of the chat GPT. We need to first of all write the prompt, uh, write the step-by-step -step guides, what we need to do, we need to understand in our mind what we want to do. And once that thing is there, uh, after that we can write the prompt. And the prompt engineering, since uh, many of the speakers are speaking since morning, that we need to learn the prompt engineering. We need to learn how we can write the prompts. Once the prompt is written, after that you will be uh, get the code from the chat GPT. That simple code you need to paste into the Excel and after that you can solve the complex to complex Excel problems. You will be able to uh, resolve your complex to complex problems. So in my today's use case, uh, since the income tax uh, season is going on and a uh, lot of chartered accountants are filing the uh, ITR for returns. So I have prepared this use case uh, for the uh, income tax return uh, computation that how we can compute the uh, income tax uh, returns. So for, first thing is that we need to understand our requirement. And for that, I have this uh, Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, I have mentioned what I want. Uh, in this Excel sheet, uh, I have mentioned the green uh, parts as well as uh, the green parts where we need to uh, mention the information of the SSC or information of the clients or whatever the person whose uh, income we want to calculate, the tax we want to calculate under the old regime as well as into the new regime. So, these green parts we will change, we will change the figures, uh, what is the salary, what are their perquisites uh, and other information. After that, we will click on this uh, link, uh, click here and uh, it will compute the taxable income uh, under old tax regime as well as the new tax regime. And it will tell us which regime is better and if you want to mail it, I have mentioned the email ID of the person to whom if you want to mail this computation directly. And whatever the text you want to change, you can change that as well. So first of all, let me uh, change few figures. Uh, let's suppose here, uh, instead of uh, 30 lakhs, I'm uh, changing it to the 20 lakhs. And uh, let's suppose uh, here I've changed some figures. And on the basis of that, let's suppose we want to compute the income. We want to compute the tax liability under old tax regime as well as the new tax regime. So it has computed the tax liability as well as it has sent the mail to the person to whom we want to send this mail. You can add uh, as number as uh, email IDs. In my case, I have shared only one email ID to whom we want to share because this is a computation. We cannot share it with everyone. So uh, this is the personal income details. So I have mentioned the name of the person with whom we want to share. Also, it is also telling us that which regime is better, new tax regime, old tax regime. And here you can see the mail has actually been sent to the person whose email ID is mentioned. Now the thing is that how we have done this thing. Now let's come on that part. Here, I have write the step-by-step -step guide uh, of what information basically I need. Uh, this is the prompt uh, I have written, the 21 steps prompt I have written, in which I have mentioned what are the information from which uh, place to be picked up, uh, from which column, which information to be picked, uh, from which information uh, to be taken for the old tax regime, for the new tax regime, so that I need not to do this activity again and again every time. So this prompt, I have written the whole prompt of uh, 21 steps. Even sometimes prompt uh, may last for the two pages, three pages as well. So this is only one page prompt I have written. Now I'll go to the chat GPT. I'll paste this uh, prompt into the chat GPT. And I will ask, uh, please give me the VBA code uh, for the same. So ChatGPT will give me the VBA code. This VBA code, I will simply copy paste and put it into my Excel sheet. And after that, my Excel sheet, which, is, which was looking like a normal Excel sheet, uh, has turned into the AI Excel sheet. And uh, I will just click on one button and automatically it will start giving me the results for each and every person's case. So this VBA code is getting generated. I'll copy this VBA code and for your reference uh, to save the time as well, 
I have written this uh, VBA macro code here. So this code I will copy and uh, I'll paste it into my Excel sheet. Uh, the sim very simple uh, shortcut is Alt F11. And this window will open and insert and uh, module option will come. And under the insert and module option, you can paste this code. After that, you can run this uh, button under the developer tab as well. Uh, macros, if you see, macro will start coming. You can run this macro. Else, you can have the old F5. You can run this macro, and uh, it will start giving the results. So this is only the one example of uh, you know doing the automation into the Excel sheet. You can have various examples in your day-to-day -day life. You are doing a lot of uh, Excel work. Whatever the, the repetitive task you are doing, you can resolve uh, these repetitive tasks and uh, create one Excel function. With just one click, you will be able to send mails to the thousands of people. You will be able to do the complex to complex uh, Excel problems you will be able to resolve. So learn how you can write the prompt. And once the prompt is written perfectly, go to the AI tool, ChatGPT, and uh, Google Bard, or sorry, Gemini nowadays. So from there, you will be able to generate the VBA code, paste the VBA code into the Excel sheet, and then your uh, work is done. Then test this code. If it is working fine, the, your task is been done. Sometimes uh, whatever the uh, VBA code you are writing, it does not give the same result. In that case, you need to again go back to the chat GPT, asking that this VBA code is giving the, this error, kindly resolve it. It will give you the new code, and uh, you can try the new code. And after the new code, you will be able to see that it will start working. Sometimes you need to write two, three times. But once this effort has been done, after that, you will be able to save a lot of time. You need not to do the repeated task again and again. So this was my use case uh, for today. And uh, thank you. Uh, in case anybody wants to reach me, you, they can reach me on this uh, number and my email ID. Thank you, everyone.